Hi friends, uh, this video is about the neutral theory of molecular evolution which was first proposed by the Moto Kaimura in 1968 and later by the Jack King and Thomas Jukes in 1969. So, neutral theory instead proposed that the majority of the molecular changes such as in DNA sequences are caused by the random process acting on a selectively neutral mutants meaning they afford no advantages or disadvantages. For an example, it was found that the changes in protein sequences were more likely to be conservative that is less likely to affect proteins function that radicals and the estrogens evolve at a higher rate. Basically, uh, the neutral theory suggests that the uh, changes in the molecular level in the DNA uh, caused by the random genetic drift and not by the natural selection. So, uh, History regarding this is the current at hand encourage that a scientist firmly rejects its universality. Despite this, the neutral theory appears to be still mostly accepted and the assumption that differences in the single nucleotides are selectively neutral can be misleading in a certain cases. The neutral theory talks about the three processes that is mutation, purifying selection and random genetic drift. As here, the neutral theory asserts that a great majority of changes at the molecular level are caused not by Darwinian selection, that is natural selection, but by random drift of selectively neutral or nearly neutral mutants. This theory doesn't deny the role of the natural selection, but it assumes that only a small fraction of genetic changes in the evolution are adaptive in nature. Though selection intensity involved in the process is so weak, so uh, the weak that mutation pressure and random drift prevail in molecular evolution so according to the neutral theory mutants do not need a selective advantage to spread through the population if mutants are selectively equivalent to the pre-existing forms form which they are derived their fate is left to chance and their frequencies increase or decrease by chance as time goes on uh, there is also a controversy regarding this theory. Uh, if, uh, according to this, synonymous based substitution occurs at a high, uh, much higher rate than the non synonymous substitution. Uh, pseudo genes evolve at a higher rate as compared to the functional genes. Some examples like zero genes, non coding sequences, synonymous sites. So, then the functional important gene. If, uh, it must be stressed that the neutral theory of molecular evolution is not an anti-Darwinian theory. That's all about the neutral theory of molecular evolution. Thanks for watching.